This is a tutorial to demonstrate how you can take photos from your iOS device and import them onto your computer without using the Photos application in Apple on Mac OS Sierra. It's uh, pretty easy with just uh, one or two steps. First and foremost, you want to go to Applications and you want to find the application called Image Capture. Right here, Image Capture. You can also find it by clicking on the magnifying glass and just typing Image Capture. That's another way to uh, locate applications. But once you've got it selected and opened up, you select the iPhone that you want to pull in images from. So I'm going to select Dave's iPhone. You unlock the iPhone if, if you have a passcode on it. Unlock the iPhone and it'll begin to bring in all of the images that you have saved on your computer. In order to import them just into a folder or wherever you want to place them, let's just say you want to put them on your desktop and you want to add them to a folder just called New Fo New Photos. You could go to New Folder, you can type in New Photos, and oops, not that one, this one right here. All you have to do is just click the image you want and drag it. That's it. And you'll see that it shows up now on your computer desktop right there. See? Desktop. So then if you want another one, just drag and drop. Once you import all the photos that you want, you can um, you can use the command key to select multiple ones and you hit delete. So let's say, and all of a sudden it just closes. So let's open that back up. Unlock the iPhone. All right. So you can import them. And then when you're done, you click delete. It'll delete the photos. And now they're deleted on your phone as well. So if you want to find only videos, you can cl click file size. And obviously the ones with uh, the large file size will show up here. You can also do by kind. So if you want to search all your JPEGs and then all your PNGs or all of your um, movies, you do by files, file type, and it'll show you right here. All of your MOVs are going to be the movies. So that, that's really all you have to do. And again, once you're done dragging and dropping, you just click delete and it'll automatically delete it off of your phone. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the comment section below and I will be certain to get back with you. If you have a tutorial or something that you're looking to do, please let me know and uh, if it's within my wheelhouse, I'll make one for you.